Pirate Solomon with you for episode 30.5, I think. We'll see how that goes, but uh, anyways, I uh, delved back into the bunker for a minute uh, to take care of a couple things. I'm going to uh, talk to this lady as I watch her butt walk away. Yeah? Why do you sound like a little girl? It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. Fancy. Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that, especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? I'm not going to be an outsider for long, baby. Head scribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Extraordinary, Soon after eh? That, <clears throat> Full of yourself, aren't you? VR but if you've got so some extraordinary talents in other departments, with the other students all the time. But at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. Yeah. Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe and my mother a paladin. They both died at Helios One. The others were always like a family to me before that, but afterward they became my family in truth. Well, like. I don't know. I'm a little like both of them, I guess. If I had to choose, I really don't know which I'd pick. That's a question I've been asked a lot lately, since it's something I have to decide for myself soon. I'm currently an apprentice in the Brotherhood, and recently became eligible for journeyman status. But first, I have to decide which order I want to join. The Knights or the Scribes? Knights are in charge of all of our equipment. Power armor, Gatling lasers, you name it. All of it built and maintained by knights. Built? I don't think you people knights built anything. Get to go out on patrol, they just scavenged everything and stole it from people. And support the paladins in offensive operations. Being a knight would mean getting to see more of the world. Fight the Brotherhood's enemies. And possibly someday become a paladin like my mother. The scribes are responsible for discovering how all the old tech we recover actually works and sometimes even work on inventing new things. Without them, the Brotherhood could never fulfill its mission. Or at least that's what my dad always used to say. Yeah, but he was biased. Bye. Alright, bye. Download complete. Ah. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the DuraFrame iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy, and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Cool. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Back on the road. Time to, um... Let's see, I think I'm gonna go check out the, uh, finally check in with the Great Cons before I, uh, run off to do this shit for the Brotherhood. Finally, uh, get my chem hookup. So what's life without drugs? Right, another nice day in the Mojave. Let's do. Uh, not that one. That one. Alright, Red Rock Canyon. Hmm, I don't really have anything too close, do I? Let's. Um, I guess we'll just walk there from here. <clears throat> Might as well discover some shit along the way too. I'm gonna kill things with my sword. No, oh no, it's starting to rain. And it looked like such a nice day. It still kind of does. Look at all these jerks. Yeah! 
Have at you! All dead, I guess. No, I'm not in the mood for this. That's better. you and fuck you. Let's check out this Sloan place. The Death Claws have been keeping their distance for now. Can't believe anyone actually made it through from the north. What with all the death claws at the quarry. You returning from New Vegas? Not exactly. They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. So that's where we got the from. quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks. But now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. Hmm. Cool story. I don't know what it is about you, but I think you could actually pull it off. Death claws are tough bastards, but you might be even tougher. No might Nobody about it. Nobody here is any use to you in a fight against death claws, but take these medical supplies. You'll probably need them. Do the I doubt job it. right. You've got to get rid of the pack leaders, the mother death claw and the death claw alpha male. Should run the rest of them off. There are a bunch of escaped cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. I don't know who screwed up, but the powder gangers are loose. It was one group. Does the NCR actually use the railways? Of dynamite. Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. Okay. This is Sloan, a camp for us quarry workers. The actual quarry, Quarry Junction, is up the road north of here. The whole thing is an NCR operation. Yeah, so I'm helping NCR. We make cement for the NCR. Yeah, and whatever. As long as you're paying. Out with dynamite and drag lines. Dirty work, but the pay is good. Wish we got paid in caps, though. Not a lot of merchants like taking NCR. Besides, it'll be useful to clear the area of death claws, keep the roads working. It all gets shipped by rail over towards Boulder City and Hoover Dam. The NCR is probably building fortifications with it all. <laughs> Good. I'll use them when they're gone. It's a big machine which moves rocks around, piles at a time. It's pre-war tech, so you need to thump it once in a while to keep it running. Nope. The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money, just like in the pre-war days. Trouble is that the exchange rates ain't exactly fair. For example, a hundred bucks in NCR money is valued at roughly half that in caps around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but work is work. Fair enough. I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. Only I've if you suck. A lot of folks come through here thinking they'll have the easy life once they get there. It never happens. Happened for me. If you insist on going north, don't be expecting a rescue when you get into trouble. I wasn't. There we go. Discovered. Tell you fools have anything in town worth taking, so. I'm just gonna move right along. No, I'm not really scared of Death Claws, but no reason to get up close and personal with them either. Hey there, big feller. 
I got you, you son of a bitch. I want some of that. Gotcha. Alright. Seems to have taken care of that pack. Maybe we should climb up this thing. Get a nice shot from the top. little shot on this fool. Looks like he's talking to somebody. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Do, 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 do. So I'm not going to be able to get through there. Or there. That's unfortunate. I have to go all the way back down the hard way. fell through. Now how do I get down without killing myself? This seems to all be like not <laughs> superly well modeled. Just like stuck in here. Ooh, that was weird. Um, I seem to have found myself in a weird, bugged area. Might have to use the console to get out of this one. Yeah. All right. Apologies. No. Oh. All right. Well, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. We're back. This time I'm deciding to go up on the ridge rather than uh, through the big buggy contraption there. Get my my high vantage point this way. Yes, this is Quarry Junction. Thanks for the shinfo. Oh, hey. okay. right, come on. I'm hunting death quarrels. I got one. Come on out, dummy. Uh, there's the big boy. Got a shot off on him, too. Oh, hi. Gotcha. There we go. And your toast. Uh, there's the big boy. Sorry, alpha male. You ain't nothing but a beta now. Actually, more like a Zeta. Oh, snap. Alright, 
actually. I guess Omega would probably be better. Whatever. I'm not Greek. Still a totally sick burn. There we go. And your toast. again somehow. Got her that time. Though it barely hurt her. Ooh, they're coming my way. Oh, she's fast. She's real fast. Fuck uh, you, yeah. mama. Looks like break time's over. Yeah, it sure does look like break time's over. Arcade. From. Sure is. Hot, lead filled death. Alright. Seem to have cleared this place out pretty well. Killed the mama, the papa, and most of the babies. There appears to be something to discover up here, so I might as well go discover it whilst I am here. Seems like there's people up here too. What they're doing in uh, the middle of a deathclaw infested quarry is, you know, anybody's guess, I suppose. Next level. Yeah, next level. Oopsie daisy. These are cons. What do you want with the great cons? Awaiting a delivery, but it's a no-show. I'm guessing that the death claws in the quarry have something to do with that. Are you Australian? Supplies to make chems. The NCR is the best source since they're hard to come by anywhere else. I we like don't really use the chems ourselves. Just sell them to anybody with the caps. If it ends up hurting the NCR in the process, that's a bonus. Hmm. Cool. I use the chems. The Khans and the NCR don't get along. They prefer to shoot us on sight, even if we're not looking for a fight. I doubt the NCR thinks so. <laughs> Is that right? What's your angle? Obviously, I want to be paid. That's a motive I can understand. I was expecting a shipment of chemicals. It's usually in a suitcase dropped off in one of the big machines up here. Because of the death cause, I have to assume the suitcase is still in the Sloan. Snoop around the place and get it for me. I wouldn't eat or drink them, but no. They won't explode if you drop them or anything. Don't kill anybody if you don't have to. I'm a scout and I like to keep a low profile. I feel you. Like what? We're an independent group. We take care of our own and don't take crap from anybody. Especially the NCR. You should take a bath once in a while, though. Bitter springs happen. Women and children died when the NCR attacked the Great Khans there. And the NCR just pretends it never happened. Our main camp is up in Red Rock Canyon, but we don't allow just anyone to come in. The NCR can't touch us there. Too many places for us to ambush them. We see their scouts poking around once in a while, but they keep their distance. It wasn't easy, 
There's a lot of initiation rituals to go through, and I've got the scars to prove it. But in the end, I was tough enough to be made a member. Proudest day of my life. All right. <coughs> I'll take care of your stuff later. Right now I want to continue along to your main camp. You know what's all this? Meh. There we go. Um, I mean, if I can get through the mountains over here, this might be a nice shortcut. Rather than going the whole long way around. Yeah. More death claws. Damn it. He's coming. Not no more, he's not. Stopped him cold in his tracks. Through this goddamn fool. Oh shit. Arcade's paralyzing him with the uh, compliance regulator. Good job, Arcade. You're keeping them stun locked for me. Oh dear. Not that one, though. Thank you. Good job. Now, this one. You didn't really do any damage to him, but you did keep him locked up. There we go. Anybody else gonna ambush me? Guess not. Hello, friend. Oh, it's so sad to see a death claw go down in the prime of his life. Something uh, a little more up close and poisonal. A signature weapon. And what do we get over here? Some kind of little town? dudes up in here. Yeah. What's going on here? Look, I'm the only gunslinger worth talking about up in here. Gunslinger, but you have a knife. Don't ever bring a knife to a gunfight, lady. That's what happens. Your eyeballs come out of your head. Oh, aren't they cute with their explodies? Come on, idiots. Where are you? Guess that was it. Oh, looky here. A Mojave Express. Here, get out of my way. My sympathies go out. Those are ghouls. Rats. Concentrating fire. Who's this guy? He was a viper gunslinger. What a shame. Alright, well. Looks like a vault control door. Move.
dog meat. That's what I think of when people that eat dog. Back you. Garden gnome. Bunch of beer. Smokes. Breakfast champions. Beer and smokes. Door's not open, apparently. Move it, meat. Hmm. Interesting thing to be in the drop box. Alright, well, <clears throat> apparently there's nothing terribly interesting in there. What's this building? Fargo Traders. ceiling. I was worried that uh, the grenade bouquet was about to go off. Yeah, I'll take all these toys. Stick them in the toy box back at uh, back at the Lucky 38. A switchblade and a straight razor. Dorgs. That's my way, Eddie. Sure. Briefcase. Nothing good. Yeah, guess nothing else worth uh, looting in this joint. Wait, wait. Here you go. Get out of here. All right. Well, I think that's about it because I think this building's boarded up, so I can't get in there. Oh. I guess I can go through the window. Like that. There was a Viper leader in here. Bitch be dead now, though. Decorative collar. Can I put it on dog meat? Or perhaps on Sydney. Copper earrings. Steel heart necklace. Alright. This place is a real fucking mess. Uh, back out the window. What's this joint? A shack. Bye bye now. 
teach you to mess with me. Sure will. TOR. What do you fools get going on in here? Nothing good. I don't know what you jackasses were doing, but I didn't see much worth stealing in there. Or I guess it's not really stealing at this point, since you're all dead. <clears throat> all right, moving on. That looks like a canyon. So that's where we're gonna head. Just big horners. I'm kind of curious about these collars. Are they apparel? They are apparel. Here, meat, come here. He doesn't even have an inventory, does he? Nope. Yeah, Sid. Yeah, what's up? Put the decorative collar on. Let's see how it looks. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Might have somebody else. I put, I'll put that on, but not you. It doesn't look right. Let's see about the regular collar. On. She did put the earrings on. Neat. I don't think I like that collar either. I'll just try giving her the necklace. Sort of like a silver heart necklace or something. Silver copper heart necklace or just a silver heart necklace. Can't really see it under her shirt. Eh, whatever. This is a nice dilapidated building you have at the entrance to your canyon. No, those are definitely red rocks. Hence, this must be the place. Kind of pretty. Certainly see this being a nice place to take chems, trip balls. Yes, sir. Some great cons walking around up in here. None of them seem to have any problem with me showing up, so that's good, I guess. Uh, yeah, Shred Rock Canyon. I don't plan to ignore them. I want their chems. Is it a little fighting pit here? Who's this idiot? Rhymes with indulgence. Oh, no, no, that's terrible. What do you want? I can tell you they're a bunch of big dumb jerks with no appreciation for art. I mean, can you believe their initiation? Everybody has to do it. Well, everybody wants to be a con anyways. They toss you into the ring there and beat on you for a solid minute. A minute? Survive? That's nothing. Sure, maybe not if you're some hulking reprobate like Regis or big to the gills like Jack. I've tried five times and still haven't made it. So you're a wuss. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I can find my true calling someplace they'll appreciate my poetry. 
Some place like the old Mormon fort, maybe. Do you think the followers of the Apocalypse would take me? I remember all those books they brought us when they visited our tribe. You'd do that? Thanks! I mean, I'd go myself, but what if they said no? The cons wouldn't take me back, and then I'd have nobody. Yeah, yeah, whatever, baby. Uh, nothing really. Just trying to psych myself up to try my initiation. Again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not working. Oh, you heard that, huh? Okay, so yeah, I was writing poetry. I know, I know, it's not a very great con like thing to do. It didn't sound very the good either. Of the apocalypse came to our camp when I was a kid. If you're gonna write poetry, like books. at least make it good. I used to read pre war poetry for hours. So you're a sissy. Have you seen this tribe? If it's not an epic drunken ballad of cracking skulls and hearing lamentations, I think it's a waste of that time. That does sound pretty cool. Yeah, well, I guess maybe I'm not. But what else can I do? No, uh, maybe. Okay. You would? Really? Okay, well then, here goes. <clears throat> I wrote this limerick the last time I went to Freeside. There once was a fellow called Garrett, whose sister she did love to bear it. She flashed it around all over town, so if you would screw her, beware it. I, uh, got kicked out of the Atomic Wrangler for that one. Yeah, I bet you did. That's it. What do you think? It wasn't too bad. For a filthy limerick. I mean, it could have gotten filthier, though. You liked it? Right. Let's see, where do I gotta go? Up here somewhere? You keep your boss man. Let's see, I'm gonna guess the house. He probably lives in the house since the rest of you live in fucking tents. Losers. I think your fucking chem money will get you more than that. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want? Cub? cub? Wolf? Is this some kind of uh, gay swinger party or something? I saw women here. You want to hear the story of the Great Khans? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered, but we will regain our glory. In a hurry, are you? Very well, then. The Great Khans came east, out of the NCR 14 years ago. We ruled the wastes then, and called no man master. But we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. Yeah, good stuff. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. Yeah. That's uh, how war generally works. When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. They should they be. They their caravans, their The Legion can take camps. them. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down. Well, I mean, you were raiding them. Did you really expect them to be nice to you? Oh, they claimed it was a miscommunication, but tell that to those who saw our families butchered. Tell it to the survivors who were banished here. You march all the way out to Red Rock Canyon, enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? You've got guts, I'll give you that. I'm Solomon, well, baby. Let me educate you. I am the chief of the Great Khans. The Khan of Khans, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. Yeah, I'm not terribly impressed. Farewell. Who are you? I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Khans? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. 
and I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. Can't argue with that. I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now, and he's not going anywhere. Papa is one of the best leaders the Khans have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships, ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes, I worry that's poisoned his mind. I probably shouldn't be saying anything. But it seems Papa's been making decisions based more on his desire for revenge than what's good for the tribe. This alliance with Caesar, for <coughs> no. one thing. I have my doubts I've, uh, about it. I've done some crazy things for revenge on occasion. Chased Benny down all across the fucking wastes. I just don't trust the words of Caesar's ambassador that much. He's promising a lot, and I don't see the advantage for him. It makes me suspicious. Yeah, you should be. I really don't like to talk about it. Let's just say it was a tragedy, and the NCR is to blame, and we'll leave it at that. Name's Regis. I'm Papa Khan's advisor and right-hand man. I'm also the chief enforcer of the tribe's laws, so watch your behavior. Until next time. You're the one making a name for yourself among the troops, aren't you? What is it you need? They're a tribe of fine warriors with many proud traditions and a glorious history. They will be no, worthy of the asshole. to the Legion. My name is Karp. Glorious Caesar has sent me as an emissary. Don't you mean Kaiser. Kaiser? As a token of our alliance. In exchange for Great Caesar's promise of all the lands west of New Vegas, the Khans have agreed to fight alongside the Legion when the time comes. I am one of the Frumentari. It is my duty to scout the waste in Caesar's name and make contact with any tribes that might serve a useful purpose. You might say I'm somewhere between a scout and an ambassador. I'm and a spy. Is part of the alliance between the Legion and the Great Khans. That's the uh, impression I got from Ulysses and that other idiot, Wolpus or whatever. Though they have been cruelly oppressed by the NCR, the Khans remain great warriors. The Legion is honored to have such allies in battle. All right, well, cool stories. It's good to have you here. You've been doing good things for us. Don't I think have, I have. Noticed. What can I do for you? If you say so. Hmm. Nah. It's weak in the Legion. Have you now? Hmm. Well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? will not be slaves. Caesar himself has promised us the land from here to the Colorado and the freedom to raid as we see fit. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The great cons will answer Caesar's call to war and the NCR will pay for their crimes. You know who Caesar hates raiders, right? You're not real smart, are you? Well, whatever. I heard you try oh. to convince Hello. Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular, me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that hey, Melissa, I already met her. Bad idea. You might be able to sway him. I have my doubts about Caesar, yes, but I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. 
Mm, okay. You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. I don't know what a speculatory is, but yeah, they don't let they doubts. don't let the ladies in. Speculatory sounds like something that a fucking uh, gynecologist would use, though. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Papa. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. Like a bullet to the skull? Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the great cons, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. I would too, if I were you. Hmm. Alrighty then. Where do I find uh, some of these people? Jack and Diane, or uh, I already know where Melissa is, and I know where you are, so. Looks like up here. Nice outhouses. Yeah, take a poop. Enough of that. Mm. Yeah, all right. Jump down, jump down. Mm, mm, that's a big jump. Any places I can kind of. There we go. Down and down. Good job, me. I can platform with the best of them. Hello, skanky raider lady. Nice shirt. Ah, the drug lab. Now we are talking. You got one of them nice shirts too, huh? You're not one of my regulars. What do you want? You're pretty skanky, but you know, whatever. Hey, it's not like I'm super attached to working with Caesar or anything. But if he'll stop his patrols from harassing my runners, I'm all for it. Yeah, he hates Kims, he hates women, and he hates raiders. I haven't heard anything like that. Do you have any proof? We keep the great cons from falling apart, essentially. Jack manufactures the chems. I organize the runners in the sh We're supplying things people want in exchange for things our tribe needs. I'm not judging. I just, uh, you know, want to make sure we're on the same level here. We make regular shipments to our <coughs> settlements around the Mojave. A lot of our business comes from the fiends lately. Personally, I think they're kind of creepy. But Papa likes the fact they get all hopped up on Psycho and harass the NCR patrols. Yeah, I don't mind that either. I'll spare you the history lesson. Talk to Papa Khan if you want to hear that story. Things have been rough for a while now. Even with Jack working all the time and my runners making deliveries daily, we're barely getting by. Maybe this alliance with Caesar will help, but I don't know. It won't. Red Rock Canyon isn't exactly the most hospitable place. There's no food, barely any water, and nothing anybody wants. We used to Chems. send patrols out to acquire supplies, but ever since Bitter Springs, there just aren't enough of us left. Sure. What do you want to know? Hmm. You look like you could handle yourself in a fix. All right, I'll tell you what. Anders, one of my best runners, is overdue to report back. If you can find out what happened to him, I'll give you some real work. Will do. About three weeks ago, I sent Anders southeast to find a route into Arizona to open new markets for our product. He should have been back two days ago, but there's been no sign of him. Thanks. Prove you're liable on this, and I'll have more for you later. 
What up, Jack? New guy. Yeah. Do. We don't like do anything. We make the magic happen. Mm. Okay. We make the happy stuff. Uh. What'd you need? Your voice just changed. Psycho. A little mid -X to ease the pain. Maybe. Hey, look who it is bringing that good con karma around. They're family, you dig? They've always looked out for us, made sure we had something to eat and a place to crash. Papa may look like a big angry bear, but he's a softy at heart. Regis is cool, scary, but cool. The rest are all pretty groovy, even little Jerry. Uh, the other dudes call him Jerry the Punk. That's kind of harsh, though. I think he's just a sensitive soul that needs some love. You he's don't, down you don't seem like much of a raider, either. So no. Diane handles most of the transactional elements of this little enterprise, but I'm always in the market for new recipes if you've got the spark. No, oh, I got the spark. Right on. What have you got? Hmm. I don't even know what slasher is, but I'll teach you how to make it. Right on. Let's have it. What the fuck? Grudalicious. That ought to rake in the caps. What do I owe you? Hmm. Caps? Here's a little tink tink to weight your pockets. Cool. 50 caps. Big right deal. Right on. What have you got? Uh, yeah, sure, but some party time mintets. Right on, let's have it. Grudalicious. That ought to what break is, in the cat. What does Grudalicious do mean? How about some drugs? Here you go. This'll give you some zing. Right on, what have you got? Right on, let's have it. Hey. Grudalicious. That ought to rake. Oh, you're buying. I'm always buying. Good, he's already made some of this stuff. Slasher. Looks like a combination of Medex and um, Psycho. I like that. Rocket seems like Ultra Jet, basically. I don't need party time mentats. Thanks for the stuff. What do you mean, help? Oh, you're right. I should start a side project yeah, you're making dumb. meds to keep my aura clean. Hmm, there we go. Right on. It take that long to teach him how to make Ooh. this shit. Right on. Let's have it. Gruda. All right. Already on it. I whipped up a few stim packs already, but if you've got any more recipes, I'll take them. All right, let's um, let's go find her drug runner. Cottonwood Cove, eh? That's unfortunate for him. Who the hell are you? Respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. I don't like anybody jacking into my robot. Chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? If you had manners, Lorenzo, you wouldn't be uh, hijacking my robot. Steel. We'd no, be very interested use. in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot uh, to one your of voice our tools so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. Hi. Sorry to break in. He sounded truly riveting. I don't want to keep you much longer, but I'd like to make a counter-suggestion. 
I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. Mm. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Yeah, Bring you your are. robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good. I'm not necessarily all about the greater good, but, um, you know, I do like it when technology gets out and is used. Generally makes my life easier. So I'm more likely to give it to the followers. Please, help me. You, uh, seem to be in bad shape, Brent. Thank God. Let me down, please. Thanks for getting me down from that cross. I owe you one. Damn right you do. They did? Probably mostly Jack's idea. He always was the soft touch. Thanks. You've saved my life and done the great cons a huge favor. I'll be heading back to Red Rock Canyon now. Maybe we'll see each other there. Okay, but keep it quick. I'd like to get out of here before the Legionnaires come to check on me. Probably was. A Legion patrol caught me trying to cross the river. When they found the, um, package I was carrying, they strung me up there. Well, not exactly. More like trying to expand our markets. I heard there was a lot of untapped territory down south. But the Legion caught me. Tell me more about this untapped territory. Maybe one day I should start my own drug so. business. <laughs> Alright, well. One down. Actually, let's kill two birds with one stone. I gotta go talk to the followers about that Eddie or Jerry or whatever the fuck his name was. Jerry the Punk. That was it. And, uh... I could also give him Eddie while I'm there. Kings. I get your fancy pants right here, pal. My pants are extremely fancy. It is dark up in this cut. Alright, let's see if I can get to the old Mormon fort without it crashing. Never fails. Alright, here we are, gang, back in the old Mormon fort. Because it always takes two tries to get in. Thank you for coming. Let's talk about that robot. Nah, I couldn't help it, but these new seat covers. I've heard through our channels that it has some research that may be related to Enclave and Poseidon energy technology. Cool, I'd like cool. to get what I can from it and use that data for the good of humanity. All of humanity. Unlike the Brotherhood. As long as all humanity includes me. First, I'm going to pull off whatever log data I can. Then I'll use some of the tech around here to upgrade its weapon systems. Hmm. I like so upgraded weapon systems. The Brotherhood is all about keeping technology to themselves and using what they find to protect themselves. They are isolationists and belligerent. I have no doubt that they plan to use the data for weapons research. Probably true. There are plenty of people here to talk to you about us and our mission. Let's get to brass tacks and talk about that robot. Straight to the point, huh? No foreplay? Nothing? Thank you. I'll get it back to you as soon as I can with the upgraded weapon systems. Alright. Later, Eddie. Alright, where's Farkas? That's probably who I need to talk to about that little twerp. There you are. Welcome. We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? Eh, yeah, kind of. Hmm. Well, I suppose we could always use another junior archivist in the library. All right. 
Tell him we'll accept him as a probationary initiate. Cool. Later. All right, now let's go get the drugs for Melissa. Look for a suitcase. This appears to be the main building, so let's give it a try. Try upstairs. Hmm. Anybody looking? This is a warning. Shush. I'm busy. My Thank you. Bandaging skills are a little oh, there's a suitcase. Carton of smokes. Guess that was the suitcase. Guess we gotta find Chomps. Where you at, Chomps? Same place you always are. Standing in the middle of the road like a doofus. Do you need something? I come from anyone else, I'd say they were drunk or crazy. But that look in your eyes, I believe you. I can pay you, but it ain't much for what you pulled off. I'll get on the ham radio first thing and tell people all about you, though. Hey, good. Spread the word. I'm awesome. How much did you pay me? 500 NCR bucks? You need Whatever. Something? Use it at the casino one of these days. <coughs> ah, yes. I think I know which friend you mean. Even if there weren't death claws in the quarry, there'd still be no delivery. The supplier, a guy in Prim named Tyrone, is a cheating son of a bitch who won't deliver even though he's already been paid in advance. I'm just a middleman. The Great Cons are a hard group, and some of them are no good. But they're not all the same. I believe in the NCR, but that doesn't make it right for them to roll over anyone who doesn't want any part of them. Fair enough. And he's always been shady, but this is the first time he's outright screwed me. Did he at least buy you a drink first? She's my daughter. Takes a little too much after her mother, rest her soul. But she's happy with oh, her. So, and why does she have an Australian accent and you don't? Good luck. <coughs> Prim, eh? Alright. <coughs> NCR, so he's probably over here in the uh, NCR camp. Yep, seems to be over here somewhere. Tent, it seems like. The Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Never seen one before. Hey, hey, what can Tyrone do for you? Just making some deliveries to the troops here in Prim. I'm stationed in California, but I come across the border a couple times a month. Okay. It's better than farming or herding Brahmin. As long as they don't send me to the front lines, I'm a happy man. Yeah, so you're a coward. You trying to get me busted? Keep your damn voice down. Lieutenant Hayes already has his eye on me. Yeah, Look, don't cheat people. I already people. told Chomps the NCR is getting suspicious of all these misplaced supplies. Bigger <coughs> risk, bigger cost. 300 caps bigger. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I've reconsidered my position. And I think it would be in my best interest if I were to sacrifice my profit on this particular deal. Indeed. Good man. Smart man. Alright, let's head over to Melissa. This way. Man. Gonna put me further into the quarry. Walk all this damned way. Hey, I killed all you.
just a lovely night under the stars. Heard a bottle break. How would that be for him out here? Seen a follower. What do you want now? I get the shit. So you get the caps. You actually came through for us. I didn't expect that. Anyway, the Great Khans pay their debts and don't forget their friends. If you ever come out to Red Rock Canyon, I'll put in a good word for you. I've already been there, baby. Now I gotta How's talk to you about uh, this. You can ask, but why would I do that? Carl told me all about the life in the Legion. He says I've got all the makings of a speculatory. What the hell's one of those? What? No, he... What do you mean, aren't allowed to serve? Why would he lie about that? That lying little weasel. I almost fell for it, too. All right, you've got a deal. You can tell Papa I won't support an alliance. Good woman. All right, now back to the drug, drug lab. Two dummies. Huh? Get up. Anders told me what happened. We owe you one for rescuing him. Tell you what. I can give you caps as a thank you or a special recipe Jack cooked up. Cam recipe? Yes, please. Here you go. Enjoy it. No, but I will. Anders out of commission for so long. We're short handed on runners, and some backlogs have piled up. We've got an associate in the Crimson Caravan Trading Company who distributes for us in out of Vegas. He's been after us for a new shipment. Done. Great. Here's the package. Your contact is Don Hostetler at the Crimson Caravan. Come back and see me when you're done. Wait. Hey, seems like you've been making a lot of friends around here. Anders got back a little while before you did. He told me what happened. If that's how the Legion treats my people, I don't want any part of them. Yeah. Don't worry, Jack and I have talked it over. We'll talk up the idea of breaking the Alliance. Excellent. Yeah, you did good finding him. You up for... I've got a ship of Jet and Psycho that needs to be delivered to Motor Runner at Bolt 3. Hmm. Right. Don't get cocky. The fiends are twitchy. Most of them won't bother a con, but the ones outside the vault, well, they're outside for a reason. Here's the package. Good luck. Cool, Your payment my own will be con outfit. Get back. Yeah, you made a pretty good argument. We'll keep it small for now, but if it turns a profit, we might expand. You get the setup, you might as well. Make the fun stuff and the helpful stuff. That's the way I look at it. Alright. What's this? Deliver drugs, deliver drugs. Yeah, delivering lots of drugs. Just the way I like it. Actually, I'd rather be making them and getting the profit myself, and some other schmuck delivering, but... Gotta start somewhere. What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the sight of your own blood? No. Doesn't seem like they can. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately?
Yeah, you probably have caps. If you're looking to buy or sell. Mm, not all that many, but it's a start. What do you get for me? Anything good? Some drugs. Bunch of other crap I don't need. Tiny, tiny babies. That sounds weird. Give me your bullets. Gonna sell. Perfect. Things are getting stranger every day. It's a strange place, friend. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? Nice suit. <clears throat> Nick Hostel, Don Hostel. Can I help you with something? Yes, I have drugs for you. Huh? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, uh, I'll take that. You should go now, before you draw any attention. Okay. Now then. Hmm. This Camp Karen's about as close as I'm gonna get. this place? The El Rey Motel. Is it the Notel Motel? Sure looks like it. El Rey. Side of the building. Who's talking to me? What else are you doing back there? Where the hell did I come from? This way? Yeah. Dog meat, what the hell are you doing? Traveling a little light, I only saw two people behind me. Yo, for reals, dog meat, what are you doing just sitting there? Come on, dummy. Seem to be some real bad dudes over here. Hmm, they are in the building. Seemingly. You like that, you friends? 
gas. Shooting that red shit at me. Fuck you, buddy. Where's the other one? Where is you? Where are you hiding at, boy? Mm -hmm, whatever. Here. Sure, I will enter the South Vegas ruins. Oh dear. They're just all over the place, aren't they? <laughs> I love idiots who try to use grenades on me. Ooh. Goodbye now. Got you. You son of a bitch. Vault 3, eh? They live in a vault, huh? Get him, Sid. Yeah, fuck those guys. Alright. Alright, so Vault 3 is apparently over here somewhere. This doesn't look like your typical vault location, but alright. Looks like we got friendships up in here, though. Where is ya? Look at this damned fool. That a pool cue? Are you serious? I just fucking take you apart bit by bit. Tell me. This jackass. Coming at me with unarmed. You are all fucking hyped up on psycho. And also be crazy enough to come at me unarmed. <laughs> My sympathies go out. Do they really? You're so snarky, Sid. I like that in a woman. All right, what do we got over here? Oh wait, I'm supposed to be dressed like a con, aren't I? Well, let's do that then. How do I look? You know, pretty cool. Not really into the whole leather look, but you know, it's not bad. This is what I've been waiting to see. A big bad con bringing in the medicine. How about you toss some psycho my way? Well, if I could get you to pay me for it, I would, but since I can't... Hey, no need. No need. I was just kidding. Nice Motor hat. down in the maintenance wing. Straight through the door behind me, down the hall, down the stairs to the right. I was just kidding about tossing me some psycho. So you don't gotta say anything about that. We have a con coming we'll see. to see the boss. Don't shoot at him. Yeah. Why are you growling at me? Everybody seems to be more or less friendly here. Oh, what's going on? Need some help here. Um. Uh, you like the sight of your own. Sid apparently does not get along with the fiends. Tell what's you what. Up? You uh, wait here. I don't need you uh, getting the whole place all aggro on me. You don't say. <laughs> Sid's still having fun up there. Alright, in we go. Uh oh. Alright, we have uh, recovered from that crash. And we are now in the maintenance wing of Fault 3. We're going to deliver some drugs to Motor Runner. Which 
Sounds like a 80s cock rock band. Not that Solomon would know anything about anything like that. Alright, smokes. Smoke them if you got them, dude. I can stop anytime I want. I just do it for kicks. Quit your whining. Yes, I know I'm still dressed as a member of the Recons. Thank you. Yay. I wasn't expecting a resupply so soon. Do you have anything from Red Rock Canyon to sell me? Possibly. I guess it isn't a secret. Yeah, the residents of the vault are all dead. We killed them. Hmm. Funny thing is, they That's, just let uh, us in. We didn't neat. have to force the doors or anything. Hmm. We needed some place to put down roots. I was having trouble keeping my people out of the west side. You seem pretty uh, sedate for a psychotic murderer. I try to keep my people out of West Side. Apart from trying to stay on good terms with the cons and do business there. There's mean son of a bitch. That fucking mutant is more trouble to kill than to avoid. Having some place for my people to sleep reduces the chances of drifting into West Side. I'm paying twenty caps each for jet, psycho, or buff out. No, I suppose I could sell you my buff out. I don't really use it. All right, 22 caps each, but that's it. Okay, our deal was Jet, Psycho, or Buff out for 22 caps a pop. Okay, got anything else? Eh, uh, caps. Okay. About goddamn time. Tell the cons they can't get a supply. We'll find someone who can. Whatever. Look at that. It's the reverse pulse cleaner I need for the Brotherhood. That was useful. Shut up, meat. Let's go. Get away from these creepy druggies before uh, they infect me with their drugginess. I'm a totally in control recreational user. Come on, Sid. Hey. That's a weird way to exit, but okay. Great. Let's get the hell out of here. So, con, get up. Oh, look, it's Gimpy Anders. Seems like everybody with a stick and a little hobby is gearing up for something big. Yeah, especially me. Did you make that delivery yet? Great. 
Here's your paint. 150 caps, all right. And you didn't even get skinned alive. Ooh, I learned a con trick special paint. move. Initiate a power attack while moving left to right. Scoop up a handful of dirt and throw it in an enemy's face. All right. Stop moving your mouth. Not right at the moment, but you could talk to Jack. He's always looking for new recipes. Mm, I'm idolized by the cons. How's my most favorite friend? Uh, you mean me? Oh. All right. Let's head back to uh, Regis and Papa. I've got a message for you from Papa Khan. He wants you to return to Red Rock Canyon and speak to him as soon as possible. Well, I'm right here, so... He didn't say, but it sounded very important. Okay, buddy. Excellent. Going. More of my advisors are starting to talk. What are you people doing? You honor the great cons. Let me see. My god, this is even worse than I thought. Okay, you have my support. I'll tell Papa the Alliance is a bad idea. Good man. What do you Too, but hello. Yeah, let's see what Carl has to say in his journal. The journal consists of detailed records and observations from Carl's time with the Great Cons. Many of the entries go into great detail about his opinion of their savage, barbarous customs, and at several point he waxes philosophic about how it's like very likely that Caesar's Legion will have to execute a lot of them. Yeah, it should be good. Caesar's veterans will look. Join? Oh, no, I, I simply couldn't. That is, I'm not worthy of such an honor. Of course I am. That is to say, Caesar has many fine warriors, and I wouldn't wish to compare them to the great cons. Enough! How dare you compare Caesar's finest to this tribe of savages? The mightiest great Khan is scarcely a match for a legion recruit. The burned man would leave their mightiest shitting themselves in terror. I would. That is... You motherless bastard. You'll pay for this. Will I? The runners are saying that the Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Carl. Into the fire with you. Oh, hello, SW Bear. Trippy looking. Hey, Papa. All four of my most trusted advisors have told me we should break our alliance. Maybe I should hear you out after all. Hmm. I've heard some things from my most trusted cons. It makes me wonder whether this alliance is a good idea after all. You also just shot one of his frumentari dead. I don't think he's gonna take take that alliance with you now. Cowering in a canyon and living on scraps. Unless you lie to him, I suppose. Then, if I don't join the Caesar's Legion, where will I find my tribe's lost glory? I don't know. Well-spoken, Traveler. Well-spoken indeed. Perhaps it's time to find our own destiny, unburdened by the past. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. <laughs> if you should ever tire wandering alone, seek us out. You might just have the makings of a great con yourself. Yeah, no thanks. Seems like everybody with a stake in the Mojave is gearing up for something. Well, if you guys are leaving, that's going to open a whole new niche market for chems. That could uh, be very interesting for me. I could, uh, 
I could set up a chem making business right in Vegas. Sell it out of the casinos. Certain ones, though, not all of them. I wouldn't want to sell, like, Psycho or Buff Out in the casinos, really. No, maybe Buff Out. Definitely not Psycho or Slasher, though. Don't want people getting fighty in the casinos, but Jet would be good. Keep them up all night, keep them playing. Turbo could, like, mess with their sense of time. Steady could calm their nerves. Yeah, that's a great idea. And the other ones I can sell out of, I don't know, bars or something. Or, uh, I don't know, I'll just set up vendors on the street outside of the gated area in Freeside. Yeah. Alright, well, <clears throat> took care of those fools. Uh, let's see. So, we need to finish up this shit with the Brotherhood. Uh, I guess I need to tell Jerry while I'm here. Let's find Jerry the Punk. Down by the fighting pit. Crying in his pants. Or shitting in his pants. Or pissing in his pants. Or something. Crying into his non alcoholic beer. There's a white wine spritzer, perhaps. What? We did? Oh, that's great. Thank you. I'm out of this crummy camp. Yeah, you'll probably die on the way there, but whatever. Now then. Hidden Valley, yep. Yeah. Vault 11 and Vault 22. Well, let's try Vault 11 first. Way is it? Mm, no. Should be this one. It's on this side. That was easy. Hey, where? He used to have a tail. Icky bugs. Sounds like fun.
Empty. Oh, hello, NCR trooper. Why do you even bother pulling that ripper out if you're never going to use it? You always, like, pull it out and then you start shooting later. Shit or get off the pot, arcade. Is it really the? I don't think it's much of a shame to kill a giant rat. In fact, I think I'm doing a service to humanity. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll try this way down, I suppose. up here we go Looks like break time's over. We were never on break, Cannon. <coughs> Alright, what do we got in here? Male dorm. Admin. Female dorm. Do do do. I'm a boy, so we'll go in the boys' room first. Hey. Thank you. Hey gang. Sounds like you're having fun out there. Where's the thing I'm looking for? Let's check the local map. guess it's going to be in the lower level. So that's where we need to go. Female dorm. Problem is, I don't really know how to get there. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Let's see, female dorm. Let's try admin. Overseer's office and security. Hey! Fuck you! What's this? Don't care about any of that. 
for is bullets and shit. This is the security room, ain't it? Stealth boy. And a mini nuke. Neat. Right. So that was security. Overseer's office is this way. In the lower level. friend. That's the overseer's office. Oh. Thanks for shooting me, rigged shotgun. You dick. Requires a key, does it? Thanks for the monies. down there. And I can't go that way. That's where I came from, so I guess this is the only way to go. Back yeah. Started, you lazy jerk. Die, bug. Ooh, bullets. Yeah, open up. Fuck, something in this place is not agreeing with my system. That's interesting. I guess that could have gone worse. Yeah, sure could have. Neat. Gross bugs and bad guys, but you know, whatever. What's this? Alright, goody, the overseer's terminal password. Though I don't know if that's actually where the thing is, so let's delve back into the uh, to the icky water and stuff.
there's that rebreather. Yeah, fuck you. Who needs breathing? Breathing's lame. That's what I'm looking for. The differential pressure pressure controller. What that is, no fucking clue. Alright, let's get out of here. Now let's go see what's going on in the over overseer's office. I don't know what just happened, but it uh, didn't sound good. The sacrificial chamber, eh? Can't say I much like the sound of that, but... Far be it for me to not check something like that out. Congratulations, Marker. Uh, Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. Okay. The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. Come on, guys. Do I really want to sit in the chair? The show requires that you sit in the chair. Yeah, well, I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Greetings, Smarter, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, that doesn't sound you may very be good. Feeling sad. Or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids. Or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. <laughs> but march with your chin held high, soldier. And remember that each of us has an important role to play. Yeah, and one much For more important people, than being a sacrifice. To heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. For broom. Are meant to forfeit our lives. For the good of the people. Sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget I don't think I should be sitting in this chair. Life. What a looker. These are I'm gonna stand samples. up. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. I have led a great life. That's true. But it is only the beginning. Also true. Close your eyes now. And imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. I don't believe in such bullshit. Hmm. Yeah, this looks bad. Oh, right. Fuck you. Fuck you. Tech experiment. Those guys are real whack jobs. What have we here?
Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. Mm. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disappearance. Yes. You really think that most people were gonna not sacrifice somebody if you told them that you were gonna exterminate them all, but you didn't? Don't, you don't fool me. Exactly what would happen. Here at Vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. Yeah, sure it is. Alright, what's this other note? Alright, I know you can hear me, so listen up. There's five of us left. Five out of I don't know how many. So it's over. We've talked and it's over. We're not gonna send anybody to die anymore. So shut off our water, our gases, or do whatever it is you're programmed to do. But we're done listening to you. Guess you should have started sooner. Started being done, that is. Alright, well, that's uh, two pieces of tech down and one to go. Isn't that where I have to go to uh, get that thing for the guy at the NCR place? Pretty sure it is. <clears throat> so I guess we can kill a couple birds with two stones here. Or one stone. Whatever. Don't worry about it. Oh, let's see. I think we are pushing up on the two hour mark once again. So, I think it is going to be in everyone's best interest if we uh, call it an episode. And it looks like this will actually be episode 30.33. And we will uh, follow up next time in episode 30.666 with the bar over it. And we will uh, get to the exciting conclusion of the trilogy to uh, make friends in the uh, Mojave Wasteland, and we'll go from there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little nap here with my Roughing It Bedroll kit, and uh, we will see you guys later.